It's Friday! Yeah. We're back. Guess what? We're at the snack bar. Yeah. A Bobo snack bar. <laughs> I was gonna say something really not a good idea to say. We're seeing Admiral Snack Bar. It's Star Wars time. I get to beat up the Urban Champ. Admiral Snack Bar. Shut up. <laughs> now we're going to the discount brothel. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. At like the blue light district. That is vile. So yeah, this game is quite crude, quite rude, and quite old. cruel. I like it though. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the Urban Champ is from the game Urban Champ. I would guess. Hey, look, there's oh, Alex again. Hi, Alex, you're on the show. So is the restaurant taken from the game restaurant? By I, that logic. Of course. Just yeah, remember that classic NES game, Discount Brothel? <laughs> <laughs> Just has hanging corpses yeah. in the window. And now I get to finish him with a fatality from a game that is definitely not an A bit game. <sighs> Yay, confetti! Whoop! That's what all. Orange roided up monsters one is confetti. Mm -hmm. Confetti that does kidding, he hates <laughs> confetti. <laughs> Good. I didn't know he was like against the confetti lady, but No, he's just so angry and he like hates everything and wants to destroy everything, basically. He's simultaneously like roided up and angry and fabulous, isn't he? Yeah, pretty much. He's a bit like Matt really, isn't he? Yeah. Hi I'm Matt here in the show. <laughs> Love you. Now it's time to a bobe, but in Zelda style. They've, they've really put a lot of effort into this game. Yeah, Zelda is a hard thing to replicate. Yeah, man. But all these enemies are from different NES games as well. Well, most of them are. So you've got those, obviously, are actually from Zelda. Zelda. <laughs> the legend of Zelda. Yeah. God, you can get the skelly bone. Yeah. But yeah, like, oh yeah, I was supposed to be talking about how I was. I'm not bad. Yes, how are you? I, We've been waiting since Tuesday to find out how you are. I'm, tend to I'm sorry to let you all down. I, I haven't done much, to be fair. Life's just been moving on. I did consider... Just, just keeping on, keeping on sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. I, like, I did consider doing stuff like streaming video games and stuff, but then I didn't. You should, I like your streams. I know, I, I, I haven't I done them you. for ages. I miss them. I, wa I watched quite a number of your... your Crash Bandicoot streams, which I can recommend, by the way, boys and girls, if you haven't seen Corin's streams. Yeah. If you if you have a startup again, we should definitely plug you here on the on the show. Yeah, man, mm. and we can like awkwardly cross reference. Because yeah, Cor Corin's about very it. funny and very entertaining to watch. Yeah. You can't tell from here, but. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I love you. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Ah. But no, like it was. Yeah, it was, it was fun. I was saying, cause especially because the new Crash Bandicoot, I think, like, might be out now. I think it's at the very least out soon. But yeah, I've seen. I don't know where that is at. I was meaning to ask you. Like, I keep like shit yeah. keeps coming up on my Twitter. With, I've like, seen stuff. Yeah, recently. Like, oh look, here's like all the intros. Here's some footage and stuff. I'm like, is it? Yeah. Is it out? Here's a guy wearing a Crash Bandicoot suit at E3 or something. Like, yeah. I guess the marketing hype is like. So I assume it's something. either very nearly out or it's just come out, but it hopefully doesn't suck. I mean, if if it's it looks like it's trying really hard so to emulate what is it? the originals. It's, it's a, a remake of the originals or it's yeah. a new game? It's the remake of the first three Crash Bandicoot games, but with like slightly added features. Okay. Where the fuck am I going? Because I saw a couple of screenshot comparisons that was like, here's what this character used to look like. And yeah. it's like the same thing, but like but remade. And yeah, nice. like they've yeah. literally remade them. Like hopefully they've remade how the game plays as well. Like hopefully they haven't changed too much. You know what I mean? So it, should, it should have the same feel, shouldn't it? Yeah, which is like the hardest thing to emulate in a game, unfortunately. Yeah, because ideally you want it to be like, if you were good at the first one, you should be able to play this and be good straight away. Yeah, right? which means if I did buy a PS4 just to play that game, I'd beat you really quickly and then go, oh... Yeah. So I'm a little bit confused at where I'm supposed to be going right now. Hmm. It would help if the, the, the little map at the top had anything marked on it so you knew where you were trying to yeah, go. Yeah, you need the compass for that, don't you? In Zelda. Hmm. I feel okay, like it... let's retrace our steps and see where we're at. Yeah. Well, can we push any of this shit? Hmm. A bow, no. Okay. I, f I feel like a right a bow, no. Right now, I write a bonehead. Yeah, that was terrible. So where did we enter from? Where's the front door? We started of this like place? here, didn't we? Or here? So there's a key, but I don't know where the key is. Am I supposed to? Uh, okay. Don't they usually drop from enemies? Oh, hello. Uh, I am a blind man, 
ignore me. There you go. Killed a spiky, a, a spiky, and a metro. Nice. Got a ladder! Killing one of those metro guys. Ugh, I know, right? Aren't they the worst? So what can you do with a ladder? Well, you'll find out. I'm going to. I'm hoping I'm going to. For those of those of you cool kids at home who've played the original Zelda on the NES, well, you'll know what's happening with this ladder, won't you? I think I did play the original Zelda, I just don't remember. Oh, you'll see. It's starting to worry me how oh. my memory is so bad. Well, now you'll notice. Oh. Ah. Now you can walk over a single tile of water. Wow. That you is stole. amazing. I'm gonna stab this guy in the face as well. In the words of Bruce Lee, What a! Aren't you glad I'm here? Brilliant. Fucking shy guys, yeah, yeah man. man. Nice. Get in. Murder them, suckers. All right. Speaking of suckers, we watched Black Dynamite the other day, didn't we? We did watch Black Dynamite the other day. It's really good. For those of you who haven't seen it, do. It's really good. What I is it? I highly recommend it, although I haven't seen the cartoon show yet, and you were going to show me instead we didn't. No, I'm getting uh, murdered by Dig Dug. No, you just made you fat. Don't let the bad guys pop you. Oh, okay. He's just an asshole. Oh, so you just have to survive for a bit. I think so. I assume that's They the don't case. seem to be trying very hard to pop you, do they? Well, that's good, because Dig Dug is an asshole. This is fine, you're okay. You see, he just turned you into Carmen for a minute. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, Black Dynamite, what, how would you explain Black Dynamite to someone who's never seen it? It is a spoof of a 70s black exploitation flick. Yes, guess. basically. Complete with like funk soundtrack, afros, titties, car chases, kung fu. Yeah, it's fucking great, basically. Oh, oh I was about to spoil the ending as well, but you no, know, you should definitely see it because it's awesome. It's really good, and there is also a TV show which I don't think is as good, but it's still entertaining for the fact that it does a lot of stuff that you wouldn't get to do in real life. Fuck's sake, Dig Dug! More like Dig Dick. <sighs> Can we just like stump all over him with our, with our fat feet? I don't know. I think I need to approach him from above and below only, because otherwise if he's sideways he can whip me. How does a Bobo maintain this like perpetual pissed offness? Like he's gonna get a heart condition or something. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a heart. He's he's gonna live to be about 29 and then just drop dead from yeah. just 24/7 rage. It's okay. Let a like guy he can't out. be healthy. Like he needs to take up like mindfulness meditation or something. Yeah. You know. I need to do that. To he, be needs fair. To, he needs to get like the, the Headspace app or something. Yeah. I don't know what that app is. Neither do I. It's something I've been meaning to investigate. It's, it's like a meditation app, I think. Oh, how does it work? Is it just I don't like... fucking know. I don't know. I've been meaning to check it out, man. Just people keep telling me I should do it. Because it's good for you. Oh. Meditating is quite nice. I should do it, but I don't. Meditating is quite nice. I used to do it a lot, like, back when I was, like, a martial arts fag years ago. <laughs> and I thought yeah. that was a cool thing to do. Go but, on. like... Unlock your chi. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I've I've come to have a distaste for that kind of thing now. But um that pretentious wank. Just kidding, I love you. Yes. No, it's ludicrous. I mean the whole chi thing is like <sighs> I have a problem with kung fu teachers who sort of demand that you literally believe the concept of, of chi. Oh. Like I Do you have any like that? Yeah. It's like it's a useful illustration, right? Like it's Yeah. It's like if you imagine that you had a life force that you could channel through your body and you adjusted your posture so that that would be facilitated properly, then you would probably have better Kung Fu, even though there's no such real energy, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a good thing to think about, but not as a spiritual proposition. Right, fair enough. Is that why we, you weren't as good at Kung Fu as everyone else? Because you didn't believe. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, that's kind of why I got a bit tired of the whole martial arts scene because I'm sort of I sort of became increasingly allergic to bullshit as I got older <laughs> fair I mean you know how that is right yeah but anyway yeah so I used to meditate a lot because I was into like Buddhism and Zen stuff and all that kind of thing which mm -hmm. I'm completely not anymore but oh. I, I've been meaning to get into it in a sort of in a sort of non-spiritualized way yeah that's just fair. as a sort of mental health practice I guess yeah no it's good for you I mean, I mean, you know, like, we talked last episode about how much shit I'm into at the moment when working full-time. I've got all these projects on and I'm quite stressed a lot of the time. So. You need to take some chill time. Yeah, and I was saying to you that I've... You have chill this... out, Max, and relax. 
I have this thing at the moment where I'm sort of going to bed early and getting up at six o'clock in the morning to work on my shit, which is nice. Like I like I like going to my day job knowing that I already did a good hour's work on my shit. But, yeah, that's always good. But it means like by the time Saturday comes around, I'm fucked. I just literally haven't had any sleep, and you know, yeah, I just murdered a guy. Nice. <laughs> well, it's dangerous to go alone. and take this wound in your neck. Yeah, you're dead now. The old man hates beef. That's understandable. No, it's not. Beef's awesome. Oh, you'll see. I guess he had beef with beef. Maybe. Maybe he just hates, you know, confrontation beef. Oh, boy. So, here's a proposition for you. How about we finish this room and then we come back next Tuesday? Because okay. we're running out of biscuit time. Let's above go to the next episode in a minute. Okay. When I, I kill this choco kiss. Okay, right. We will wish you guys a good weekend. Yeah. A bow bye! We'll see you on the other side. Yeah. Of this. I was trying to make a pun out of a bow door. Bow and door. A, 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 bow, a bow door. A bowed. A boudoir. Okay, bye! Love you. Have a good.